Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us something amazing. You know, sometimes we desperately want something, we think it's good for us, we really feel we would like it and Allah knows that it is not good for you. So Allah says sometimes you dislike something and He knows it's better for you. And sometimes you love something and He knows it's not good for you. So He keeps you towards that which is always beneficial. He has your back basically. So it's amazing how Allah says in verse number 216, Sometimes you don't like something, it's better for you. So sometimes you like something and it's not good for you. Let's take a look at the crises we are facing. We have a situation where the world has changed. Everything has turned upside down. People are struggling. People are complaining. People are being infected and affected. People have lost their jobs. People don't know where they're going to get the next morsel of food from in some cases and so much more. Allah says, you know what? If all of that brought you closer to me, it was better for you. If all of that brought you closer to me, it was better for you. And sometimes we have made you lose a job because we know that if you open your own business, you will make much more money than the salary you were getting. So we made sure you lost that job. We did you a favor, but you cried for a while. The minute you got up and realized the favor of Allah, that's the very minute you began to achieve and receive the comfort. Sometimes you lose in terms of marriage, perhaps a divorce, perhaps you lost your spouse. Do you know that maybe the Almighty wants to give you someone 10 times better? And that's why the Almighty made you go through something you thought was so bad for you. Allah says, no, you don't know, we know. When you leave it to us and you just did your best and continue to do your best, we will make sure that you have actually achieved the comfort in the long run. So my brothers and sisters, learn to surrender to the will of Allah. Have you tried your best? Yes, you did. Then don't worry. The rest is going to come. Have faith, have conviction, build that faith and conviction. If Allah wanted you somewhere, there's nowhere else you're going to be. And if Allah did not want you somewhere, you're never ever going to be there. Remember that.